so hello guys so this is just an another video uh, recently i have created another video with lazy loading how do we create angular project with the lazy loading setup but uh, some part of was not recorded properly so i am doing it again but uh, while doing this uh, we will try to create some reusable component shared module and whatever uh, the things were not covered over there just like the project setup we will try to cover everything so I have created an existing project. I am using just the existing project. Just I have removed everything. This is just the plain project, uh, just the plain Angular project. So you can see router outlet is there. In app, uh, in app component, just the router outlet is there. App routing model dot ts empty, it is there. App model is also there. The project is created with Angular 17, but with standalone fall. So we get the old structure with the app model. So the lazy loading things, whatever the things we are going to discuss, this will be same across all the Angular version. Even if you are working with Angular 14, 15, 16, the same steps will be there also. Now, so when we say lazy loading, why do we need why do we need the lazy loading structure? Let's say if your project is having, let's say 10 to 20 pages, then you don't need the lazy loading because you don't have that much code in your project. But let's say your components are going to increase, uh, means your project has started, initially it is 10 component, then 20, then up to 50 or 60 components might be there. So, so much of code is there. So much of components are there. So now when we build the application and deploy it on the server, so whole, whatever the 50 components you have, if we don't have the lazy loading, whole code you will, will be in your single JS. Because when we build with it, we get the vendor.js app.js so whole code will be into single js so it will take time to initially load the application because in a single js our whole code will be there but a solution to that is lazy loading so we can create a modules let's say whenever we talk about any project so we divide project into modules like let's say if we have a school application so we divide like teacher model will be there uh, student mod model will be there result model will be there account section model will be there and based on related things will be into that particular module. <clears throat> so considering that scenario only, lazy loading allows us to create feature module. So let's say, just as we have discussed school application. Let's say a school app, school application is there. So there, instead of directly creating components and components, we can create modules now. So let's say school school model is there then teacher model then student will be there then let's say account will be there now we are going to need the login and everything so for that auth module will be there. inside that auth we keep all um, components related to let's say login registration forgot password reset password things like that then we can have payment module. So rather than creating component, whole component, now we are just going to divide that component into particular module. So when we initially create the project, we, we get only one module, but now we are going to have multiple module. And in that multiple module, we are going to keep components separated. Means in each feature module, we are going to have its own component so that when we build the application, let's say we build the application with lazy loading. And when we load the application onto the browser, so let's say our default page is login page. So only that particular auth module will be loaded. Other modules won't be loaded because that are not necessary. So lazy means calling the resource whenever it is necessary. So that is the whole concept behind lazy loading. And again, lazy loading is not a, just a concept with Angular. It is uh, present everywhere in the in all almost all the technology we have this concept everywhere some log but the logic is same calling the resource whenever it is necessary this is the lazy loading concept now let's start with the implementation now in app folder let's say when we talk about the project structure so first i will create a core folder in core folder i will have services then uh, models constant then I will have uh, modules. Here I will create my feature modules. Then 
then shared module will be there in this component in this shared module we will we will keep our reusable things like reusable components directives pipes these are the things which we are going to use across all the feature modules let's say we create a reusable table component but table component is going to be needed in all the feature modules so we keep that reusable table component into our shared module same like the directives and the pipes also now again services also so but service we keep in the core module so that core module we in inject in all the module wherever we need that now so in app folder first folder i will create is core inside that uh, first i will create just the basic folder structure we will implement the lazy loading then we will complete the project setup core after that in app folder only we need modules and just like in the app folder we have a shared also now in modules we are going to create our feature model so just like as we have discussed uh, school application <clears throat> so school in school application let's say we are trying to build a school application so in school application so many components are going to be there but rather than give, going to create components in a one module we will create uh, what do we say feature model so when you have to create the feature module, first thing like you need the command, like how do we create the module? So ng generate module and your module name, let's say teacher. So what it will does ng generate module, this will create just a module file. But with each feature module, we are going to have our own routing also. So that's why while creating module, you need to add routing also over here like this. So this is going to be your command to create the feature module. So let's try now right click open in a terminal so that terminal will open into that particular folder now the command ng generate module let's say teacher hyphen hyphen routing let's enter so this is my command to create a feature module so now if you see it has created two files one module file and one routing file also so here you can see it has created a teacher folder and inside that it has created routing file and a module file let's create another one so that will be let's say student so all the component related to teacher we will create it over here all the component related to the student now we will create in the student module we will uh, we will go with the three module first then let's say account department module is there so we will create account enter so now if you see we have created three module account three feature modules account student and the teacher <clears throat> after we have created the modules now we have to create it the now we have to create the components we are going to need so let's say in account uh, we will start with the teacher so let's say in the teacher module we have to create the uh, components what we are going to need for the teacher let's say teacher list is a component we are going to need so i will open a terminal into this teacher folder now here i have to create the normal component so ng generate component teacher list enter so now we are creating component on this module. So let's see what happens now. So just pay attention over here. So see, when we normally create the component, uh, if we are not talking about the lazy loading, it used to create four file and it used to update the app module. But now here it has updated the teacher module because on this teacher module, we have run this command. So now this teacher component is created over here and its entry has been added into its module. Here you can see just like that. Let's create one more for new teacher. Here we can keep the form of, of the new teacher form. So in teacher mode, in teacher feature module, we have two, we have created two component, new teacher and the teacher list. Right. Just like that. Let's close it. Now let's go to the student. Let's create some components over here also. 
ng generate component student list enter so in each feature module we create the component so rather than creating every component in a uh, separate folder now we are dividing component as per their module so this is the basic concept of lazy loading let's create sections like what are the sections we have for the students then we will create one more component that will be student registration form student form enter so in student module we have created three components section student form and the student leads now we have just left with the account let's create some component over here also ng generate component let's say in account uh, what do we say in this way if we consider school application so in account section uh, student are going to submit the fees so let's say fees new fees form first component we have created one more module we have uh, so in account only i'm going to create one component only one more model we are going to need that is auth module there we will keep our login page registration page forgot password reset everything ng generate module auth hyphen hyphen routing routing also we are going to need let it create so auth module is also there so now in auth module we normally keep login registration forgot password and the reset password whatever the things related for the authentication then we can have a user profile component also same like that so ng generate component let's say login because when we run the application by default we should see our login page so that's why i have created this auth module uh, after login let's say forgot password let's enter so in our this project we have created four feature modules inside that we have created component also so now module creation is done after that we have to create the parent routes parent routes as in module route feature module routes that we will create in our app routing module.ts here <clears throat> so whatever the modules we have created first we have to create the routes for this module so let's create how do we let's see how do we do that just route will be like that only route is nothing but a collection of uh, uh, array of object of routes right now here first part will be path then route name so this is like first uh, let's say we have four feature models so let's say first is like auth then here normally we provide component but now here we are creating route for our module so here we have to write load children and here we have to write arrow syntax format import and in import we have to actually uh, select that particular route file uh, module file module slash auth slash particular auth module like that then dot then once it got that then we need the per we need to select the particular file name so you can see it is suggesting auth module so this is our first route for the auth module just like that we have to create the remaining also so again path now second route will be for account account then load children colon arrow syntax format sorry import round bracket single quotes inside that dot slash module slash account slash module dot then m equal to m dot or account module like that i will just now copy paste so this is the syntax of the lazy loading when someone asks you like what is the syntax so this is what first module route will be there then we will have a child route also inside the, each module again we will have the routing we will get to that let me just complete this teacher
teacher module and here also teacher module then we have student is remaining so student so this is how your routing should look like of the feature module so this is uh, in normal way you can consider this is our parent routing now after creating the parent module routes whatever you feel comfortable consider this as a parent routing or uh, module routes whatever you feel now inside every module we have list of components let's go to the student now so now in student component we have three routes three components so we have to create the routes also over here so while creating models we have created the routing file also so in in this we have to create the route so here first path you now here also you can create the empty route means the default route if we don't have anything it will redirect to let's say student list or let's say list column path my strategy we have to pass and the value will be full so this is my default route if someone if in the url someone added just like student spelling mistake student and not, uh, and he didn't provided the child route so by default it will load this route so now we have to create the route for the list list and the component we have to open this will be normal only so our student list component will go over here just like that we have to create the remaining routes the normal route whatever you know new hyphen student and the component will be student form So after creating the route, now let's test it like which component get loaded on the first. So we have the project running. So now if even if we don't if we don't put anything, obviously nothing will load. But if we put student, sorry. So student is our model route name. So if you can see by default, it is redirected to the student list work. This is because here we have said if we don't have anything, it will redirect to the list page. That's why list page is coming. Let's try to enter new student. Then that particular component will load. See, student form works. This component is getting loaded. So like this, we can access all the, since we have only created the student route, let me just create all the routes so that I can just showcase that also. Let's go to teacher. Here also, let's create some route path. Let's say list component teacher component. Then again path that was new teacher. teacher list component let's try to access that now the teacher is like this is the parent route so teacher slash list so now you can see teacher list work this component got loaded let's new teacher no something wrong 
no hyphen teacher. Still teacher list is opening. Let's see why. Okay, here only same component was there. New teacher component. Now it will work open. So now you can see that particular component got open. So this is how you access the route. So majorly we have created the routes, uh, sorry, modules in, inside that all the module we have created respect to component also. Then we have created the parent routes for the modules. Then in, inside the respective module routing file, we have created route like this. So now if we have to access any particular component, we have to access that using module route slash that particular route from your feature route, feature module. Now, so uh, this is everything. Now, whatever the components we have over here, we cannot, uh, let's say, what are the components we have into the student section, we cannot use it into another route, another module, because this component belong to this module only. So we cannot use component from student into account or the auth. But let's say you have a requirement where you need a component which should be accessible throughout all the module. So that when shared module comes into picture. So now in the shared folder, I will create a module. So now remember when we created the feature module, we have created module along with the routing. But when we say shared module, right? So in shared, we are not going to keep the uh, components which are going to be accessible by the route. These are just the shared uh, reusable things that are going to be injected into another component. So here we just have to create the route module only. So ng generate module shared. I'm not going to create the route file now. So now you can see only shared module is there. Now in shared folder, in shared folder, uh, what happened now inside shared? Let's move this into shared folder. Otherwise we just have shared and shared folder. We don't need this folder. Let's delete that. Now in shared, we have a shared module. So now here I will create another folder like components. Components, then what are the reusable things we can have? Com either <clears throat> we can have component, then we can have custom directives also, or we can have custom pipes also. Right, these are the three possible things we can have. Now let's create a reusable table component or reusable alarm box. So here I will create ng generate component alert. So let's say we are creating an alert component that is going to be used in all the module. So here you can see we have created the more uh, one component. That is alert box. Just like that, we will create a reusable table also. Let's name it as my table. So all the reusable component you will be storing into this com uh, shared module component folder. Just like that, let's say you need a custom uh, tooltip directive. So in directive, let's try to create a directive uh, for my tooltip. So ng generate directive tooltip. I'm not going to cover like how do we create videos are already there in my YouTube channel. You can go over there. You can just implement that. So we have created one directive. Let's uh, say we need a pipe also. So for uh, just understanding, we will create an NA pipe, which will be like, if we don't have anything, we can show like a hyphen hyphen or something. So ng generate pipe, let's name it as an A, enter. So pipes is also created. Now, if you see the shared module, whatever we have created, two components, one directive and one pipe is there. Now, let's try to use this alert component into our one of the module. Let me just close everything. Now, alert component is in my shared module. Let's in student list, let's try to use this component. So here only you will get compilation error because, sorry. So this alert component is in my shared module. 
So obviously by the rule goes, you cannot use any component, anything from one model to another. So to use, so to overcome this scenario, if you have to use this alert component into student module, now from this module, you have to export it also. So you need to write export over here. And what you are going to export? So alert component. Now, if I save it, still error is not gone. Because from shared module, I have exported this component. But now my alert component is in my shared module. So I have, if I have to use anything from the shared module, I have to import the shared module into my student module. So here I have to import shared module. Now, if I save, you can see error is gone. So whatever the reusable things you create into the shared module and that you want to export to the other module. So first you need to add that thing in the export and this module you have to import in the uh, whatever the module in whichever module you need to use. So here, once you use that, then you can access it. Let's just try if we can see the select, uh, just the basic thing. App alert is not an element. Why it is saying like that? Here we don't have the error. App alert is not known element. Why it is saying like that? Save one is also there. Student model we have done that. Let me just save everything. Still, it is the same. Let me just check. Okay, so everything was perfect. I just had to stop the compilation and again compile it. So now you can see it is working. Now let's try to access the student. So now here you can see alert work is coming. Means we are now able to use component from shared module into our student module. So this is how you have to use the things. Now we have completed the shared module. So just like that, in core module also, you could create, uh, let's create folder first, service, then you could have constant, sorry for the spelling mistake. Then you could have, what is this remaining, what we have discussed, models. Model like uh, classes or the interfaces you can keep. And okay, we forgot to create a model. So now in core also, you need to create the model. So let's create just like the shared, you need to create one core model. So ng generate model core. Let's enter. So now it has created this core folder, but we need it into the parent. So I'm just moving it. And let's delete this folder. So now whatever the things you create over here, previously, let's say uh, before Angular 6, if you create the service, you need to add that into your provider session, but that is not necessary now. Interceptor, let's say you create interceptor. So you need to add that interceptor into your app module in the provider section. So you could create an interceptor over here in the service folder and in core module in the provider section, you could have that. Just like OffGuard and everything. So then let's say you need to use interceptor and everything. You just <clears throat> pass the module into that respective and you can use that just like the shared module what we have did. So this is how you implement the lazy loading project. So this, this, uh, all these things were missing in the previous video. So hope this video is helpful. Now I have covered everything, whatever I can, uh, in coming days, I will try to create one small project with lazy loading so that the actual implementation you will be able to see with how do we use the pro how do we use the lazy loading in the actual project so that's it with the current video please do like and subscribe